welcome back to my channel success engineering official today i am going to teach you how to calculate uh, cooling load for this uh, actual project uh, project uh, as per uh, thumb rule actually we are using thumb rule for the estimation purpose for example this is your building and uh, someone is ask uh, quotation for uh, quotation for ac units so how you will calculate you do not uh, just to save the time uh, you can use uh, thumb rule and uh, the thumb rule will be 99 98% uh, is correct so just to save the time i will uh, tell you how to calculate uh, cooling load for using thumb rule for this uh, commercial building so you can see this is the drawing and i have prepared one excel sheet i will show you here tonnage calculation uh, for thumb rule let me open this and uh, see this one this is the simple excel sheet so what i am going to do i am going to delete this first okay and uh, i will tell you from this uh, first space technical manager okay so i will show you guys technically and uh, very practical so you can write it here you can see this is your tonnage calculation by thumb rule and this uh, for a uh, for hvac engineer you should uh, know how to work uh, in excel so this is uh, microsoft excel only so if you work on excel you can save more time so here you can see this is the serial number and in this column i we have to write here a space name okay so we are working for the ground floor so this is the technical manager so what i am going to do i am just writing here a space name which is a technical manager okay and the room size or office size is length and width okay and which is in meter so you have to check uh, from this drawing the length will be 6.2 you can see this from here to here 6.2 and uh, sorry this is the length 4.3 and width is 6.2 okay so so uh, you can see here this dimension is given in mm so you can uh, convert in meter so you can see the width is given 4350 in mm divided by 1000 okay so one meter is equal to 1000 mm so you can divide so it is coming 4.35 okay so simply enter here 4.3 okay and uh, width is uh, you can see width is also all the dimensions here given in millimeter only so you can convert first in meter and then you can enter there okay 62 uh, 6200 divided by 1000 you can get 6.2 meter okay so 6.2 once you enter you will get it here area and area is divided by 10 you will get uh, tonnage for the thumb rule we are using 10 square or 10 to 12 square per meter okay so this uh, i am using here <coughs> there is condition okay uh, if the uh, three wall is exposed so you can use uh, 10 square uh, 10 square meter per ton so this is the calculated tonnage okay so you can see here if you can double click you can get here the e4 okay so this is your column e and divided by e, e and this is the row 4 so this value is the area here and i use the formula here divided by 10 I just divide the area uh, with uh, the value 10 so I am getting here uh, 2.67 so you can select 3 ton okay because 2.67 is not available so you can always go for the higher unit so higher capacity available is 3, uh, 3 ton okay so selected ton is 3 ton and later i will show you which brand i am going to select and you can write it here model number and brand okay so let me complete first for the second space which is filing room so for the filing room you can see here the 4.3 again and 2.6 okay so simply enter here filing room the length is 4.3 
and width is 6.2 again width is 2.6 sorry 2.6 okay so I'm getting here 1.2 so 1.2 is not available so you can go for the higher tonnage which is 1.5 ton available okay so how to get this formula how to apply this formula I will show you I will teach you Excel also here so you can see this one I will show you let me delete first okay and let me delete this and also delete this okay this also I'm going to delete this also delete okay so what I'm going to do here I am going to first uh, enter here which is equal to okay type equal to and uh, uh, you have to multiply the length okay click here on the length and uh, you can enter the star and then the width okay click on width then make it enter so you will get it here if you double click you can get here c4 into d4 c4 is nothing but this is the column and this is the row so this is the c4 and a star is nothing but the uh, we are using for multiplication in excel d4 is nothing but you can see this is the with this value okay this column d and four row okay so this is how we are uh, applying uh, using formula in excel okay and this is the calculator tennis so how to calculate uh, again you have to press equal to and click on this area and uh, now you have to press uh, divided sign sorry equal to okay and then e4 which is area use divide sign and uh, enter the value 10 and then enter and then you can get it here 2.7 okay now you can simply manually enter here the three okay and let me delete all these so i hope you learn how to apply the formula in excel i am going to delete this okay so i applied here so i want to copy this formula in all the rows so how to copy this just click here and you can see there is one plus sign here okay so you can see this is a plus and once you take your cursor on this corner you will get the plus sign simply uh, click uh, left click uh, with your mouse and drag this okay so this all formula will be copied in all the rows this formula will be copied in all the rows simply leave this okay so now you can see this formula is applied in all the rows so in this case now this uh, your work will be very easy now why because this formula is applied in all the rows so you can simply enter here space name length and width you can get directly uh, this area okay this also you can click here and just uh, take your cursor on this uh, plus sign corner and once you see this plus sign you can simply click left click and drag it and drag this okay So this formula will be applied now I will show you the next uh, space which is secretary this is the secretary the width is 4.3 and uh, length is let me check the length so use DLI dimension linear command enter you can click on this corner and uh, here okay so you can get here uh, 3050 which is 3 meter okay so let me use match command so you can match this with this dimension okay so in this case for the secretary room you have to simply enter here secretary room okay length is uh, 4.3 and width is 3 meter okay so 4.3 enter and uh, width is 3 meter once you enter this 3 and press the enter you will get here value you can notice it you can notice here you can see i am going to press the enter so you can see here the 12.9 square meter so this uh, this this is your user input only so i am going to highlight this this is your user input okay so simply highlight this with some color so i am going to highlight with this color okay and this will be calculated by this excel program okay
so you can see 12.9 uh, 12.9 square meter i got it here so after divided by 10 with 10 i am getting here at 1.29 so 1.29 is not available so go for the higher one which is 1.5 ton available okay so go to the next which is uh, accordingly you can uh, calculate for all the spaces and then you can select the model and brand so let me open one uh, catalog uh, how to select the ac i will show you here this is the catalog okay so i am going to use this is the daikin and uh, toshiba so this is the VRF actually VRF catalog so I will show you for the split AC let me go to my file here which is catalog okay so this is the catalog and I am going to show you the SKM high wall split AC okay so let me open this this is the high wall split AC okay so this is your catalog for the scheme high wall split AC so I am going to select the EC for the calculated tonnage so let me go for the technical dimension here you can see here the performance table so in this from this table you have to select the model number and accordingly you will get uh, all this tonnage and all okay so first one is uh, 3 ton actually 3 ton so in this you can see this is your model number okay and this is your cooling capacity okay so this is given in BTU per hour kilowatt watt amps actually okay so you can see uh, the 3 ton is how much uh, BTU per hour so 3 ton 1 ton is equal to 12,000 BTU per hour simply multiply with 12,000 and you will get it here 36,000 <clears throat> 36,000 so you can see this one here is your 31.4 which is the maximum tonnage available in this catalog so you can see here the model number is that is starting from 36 which is nothing but the 3 ton okay so this is your uh, model number 36 three cvm s21 so 36 see we just write the model number here 36 cv m s 21 m s 21 and brand is skm okay <coughs> similarly uh, similarly i will show you the other brand also okay so let me open other catalog which is uh, carrier okay so carrier uh, wall mounted this is the carrier wall mounted let me open another one the good one which is uh, this is also a split AC for the carrier okay so I will show you guys uh, here I think this catalog is uh, not clear let me open another one carrier split okay uh, this is the product uh, this is the manual <coughs> okay so this is your uh, high wall uh, split AC for the carrier brand so this is your technical specification okay so go to the technical specification and this is your cooling capacity so I am going to select the 1.5 ton which is uh, 1.5 uh, into 12,000 okay so this is in tonnage so convert into BTU per hour which is 18,000 BTU per hour so you can see here this is your uh, I will show you how to highlight this anyway leave it and uh, you can see here I will just uh, highlight this one let me delete this <coughs> okay so go to the highlighter and this is your 18,000 BTU per hour so for this one 
I am getting here the model number which is uh, for the indoor unit 42 model okay and uh, similarly for the outdoor unit you can get uh, this model which is 38kg0118 you can see in the model number there is 18 which is nothing but the 18,000 BTU per hour okay so this is your uh, BTU per hour cooling capacity and the model number is 42KH0G018H so in this you can write it here 42KH 42KH and G0 G018 H okay slash this is the indoor unit model and the outdoor is 38 k h g 38 k h g 18 0 1 8 h 0 1 8 h okay so this is your model number and the brand is brand is carrier okay so this is how we are selecting the calculating the load and selecting the model number for the split AC and uh, this is uh, very easy and we are using for uh, the actual practice uh, for the estimation purpose for this one uh, this one also it will be same 1.5 ton so model number will be same and uh, I am selecting the carrier AC <coughs> So I hope you guys learn how to calculate and this is very useful for you to uh, calculate the tennis for your home or tennis uh, for your office or uh, wherever it is and this will be very useful for you uh, for you to use for estimation purpose and uh, you can select the AC accordingly. So I hope you guys learn how to calculate the cooling load calculation tennis by using thumb rule. So if you got uh, some information from my video so please do subscribe my channel and uh, hit the bell icon as well also please like share and uh, like and share uh, like my video and share uh, also please like share and comment as well so thank you for watching my video thank you thank you bye bye